This summer, England's floods have made us sit up and think. Maybe climate change really is happening, and maybe it could affect us here in our own homes. In London, the evidence has been mounting for several years. The Thames barrier was raised a staggering 56 times in the last six years, compared with only three times in the first six years after it was built. And this year, the UN's panel of climate scientists put London on their list of places that are very vulnerable to sea level rises. As Green candidate for London Mayor, I'm worried when I hear that a million of us could suffer flooding in the near future. And I'm worried that Ken Livingstone is still putting big building projects before sensible decisions to protect our homes and save us from climate chaos. So I want things to change. First, let's not build new houses in flood risk areas. Most of the new Thames Gateway houses will be built on the wrong side of the Thames Barrier and a good number of them won't be given proper protection. Greens want some common sense here. We say don't build streets in places that are likely to flood and don't create thousands of future flood victims. Yet, this is exactly what the current Mayor and Labour government plan to do. And let's make sure we stop tarmacking over small green spaces in London. It might shock you to hear that we've lost over 22 Hyde Parks worth of front gardens in recent years. They've mostly become car parking spaces, which means London can't easily soak up the kind of rain we saw recently in Gloucestershire, making flash flooding much more likely. Next, let's stop adding to the problem of climate change with other big projects. The Thames Gateway Bridge, which Ken Livingstone wanted to build for £455 million, was such a bad idea that the official inspector has thrown the plans back at him for a rethink. The bridge would cause huge amounts of carbon emissions and even worse traffic jams. Exactly what we don't need if we're going to stop runaway climate change. If I was elected mayor, I'd simply scrap it. Greens know there are better things to spend our cash on. The money for the Thames Gateway Bridge could pay for every cavity wall in London to be insulated and put 55,000 solar hot water systems on our roofs. Easy steps that would save us money and help us play our part in stopping climate change. And that's just one example of the kind of common sense you'll get by voting for a Green Mayor of London.